Coming up in this video, I'm taking a quick look behind the scenes at Spiced Rum, what it is, answering a few questions I've been getting. So if you want to know a bit more about the whole Spiced Rum category, stay tuned. Hey Spiced Rum fans, I'm Steve the Barman and I'm hoping these videos will help you drink, serve and enjoy better quality spiced rums. So if you like the sound of that, drop me a comment below. Let me know what your favorite spiced rums are, what your favorite spiced rum and mixer is or cocktail. I wanna know, so hit me up in the comments below. Right then, so I'm taking a very quick one video break from doing our spiced rum reviews and cocktails and drinks recipes for you because I've been getting a lot of questions recently uh, about, well, uh, from gin fans that have been following me, uh, wondering why I've gone into spiced rum, and they want to know a bit more about spiced rum. What exactly is it? So I thought I'd do a video just to answer a few questions, uh, why I've kind of deep dived into it, and what we can expect in the future. So to answer the first question I've been getting, why have I moved from gin to uh, rum and spiced rum? Well, the simple reason being, Spiced rum, and rum to a certain extent, but spiced rum has always been my big passion. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's been my drink since mid sort of 2000s. I did start off on the rums, uh, the kind of cheap rums, the Captain Morgan's, the lambs, that kind of thing. But when the Captain Morgan spiced, when Sailor Jerry and things like that exploded, that's when I kind of fell in love with the whole spiced rum category. Gin for me was a necessity, a business necessity. People were kind of asking me for gin tasting nights, wanting to know a bit more about gin. So the whole gin thing for me was more of a necessity than an actual passion. Yes, I do like uh, some of the gins, but they will never ever come uh, or hold a candle to any of the spiced rums. That's what I'm all about. Then to answer the next question I've been getting, what exactly is spiced rum? Well, hopefully that's the bit I'm gonna nail for you now. Spiced rum is essentially uh, different rums blended together, kind of like scotch. Scotch whiskey is a blend of different whiskies uh, come together. So your Bells, your Famous Grouse, um, your Chivas, all, all your kind of uh, scotch whiskies like that are just blends. And that's exactly kind of what uh, spiced rums are. So they're taking some rums, whether it's made in the Caribbean, in the Americas, North and South America, Australia, Malaysia, Mauritius, uh, and now in the UK, we've got some great rum brands popping up in the UK. What they'll be is, um, Traditionally, if they're imported from the Caribbean, they'll be blended up to form their base liquid. Uh, UK distillers uh, that are actually distilling rum themselves, there's a few of them popping up now, will be kind of single origin rum. Uh, but all the other UK brands that are importing rum will be a blend of different rums put together. So after they've got their base liquid, their base rum or blends of rum, what would they will then traditionally do is spice them up. Now the early rums uh, were traditionally just kind of vanilla and lime with a little hint of other spices in there, but may mainly vanilla and lime. However, as we've kind of progressed through the whole spiced rum era, um, and I say this stems right back to 2000 and five maybe, I've got no specific dates, but around about 2004, 2005, um, different brands have been flavoring up different things. The biggest one that I can kind of pick out uh, was when Red Leg launched, but up until that point, the whole Sailor Jerry, the whole Captain Morgans were very vanilla and lime. However, Red Leg launched and went the opposite way, uh, vanilla and ginger. So we've kind of got this um, different spices. And as we're going through now, Black Tears, for instance, we've got coffee infused with there. We've also got flavored rums as well. So we've got the whole coconut thing there, rum ting, there. Uh, rum Ting is the recent one I've done, Passion Fruit, Elderflower, and Mango. So we've got the whole flavour thing. So the whole category is opening up, but no, I've just spotted that, the whole banana thing going on as well. They're not really rum. Um, there might be a separate category peel off very soon, flavoured rums. Uh, but for the moment, I'm grouping flavoured rums with spiced rums. Other spices being used uh, more commonly now, we've got cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, allspice, all those kind of spices that are indigenous to the Caribbean, to Malaysia, basically 
anything goes, anything that packs a punch that adds flavour goes. So that is essentially what spiced rum is. Now I'm quickly going to talk about the legality of the spiced rum. Now I don't mean that in the sense that spiced rum is not legal. I'm talking about ABVs and sugar contents and things like that. This is where kind of rum aficionado, rum enthusiasts really don't like what spiced rum represents because uh, traditionally rum is 40%. Okay in the UK it can legally be 37.5%. But if you go over to America, places like that, it is legally 40%. Now in the UK, the three big huge brands, so Lambs, Captain Morgan's and Bacardi, um, they cannot legally be classed as a spiced rum because the ABV of them are either 30 or 35%. Uh, for me, I don't know the ins and outs, but for me, they've done it purely for tax reasons. They'll pay less tax on that. But they are, in fact, classed as a rum spirit-based drink. Okay, so they're spirit-based. Essentially, they are a liqueur. I'm not going to discount Lambs, Captain Morgan's, Bacardi or any of the other brands like that because this is why I love the spiced rum category so much. It's because, for me, it represents fun. Anything goes, whether it's cocktails, whether it's spirit and mixes, a lot of these you can drink neat and absolutely lovely neat as a little tipple at night so it's just that whole category um, and for running pubs and bars as well it's just that simple spirit that is so diverse it is the most diverse category most diverse drink on the market look at the shelves behind me you can drink it with so many different things okay that shelf might be hidden out a little bit but we've got coconut water down there we've got the flavored tonics from the Lixer boys absolutely love those elderflan lemon rhubarb and ginger blood orange and uh, cinnamon and they're really good we've got the sodas the sisters um sodas newly rebranded from franklin's and sons uh pineapple cardamom pomegranate hibiscus uh, guava and lime phenomenal we've got this little bad boy from fentiman's that has just been relaunched um tropical soda pineapple soda absolutely lovely fever tree are on the market with their spiced orange ginger ale and their normal ginger ale is lovely as well but the whole spiced orange thing we've got all the coca colas so many different cokes and then we've got things like this ting pineapple soda um, I'm very disappointed. I've heard on the grapevine that Schweppes are stopping producing the whole Muscovado thing, which I think works exceptionally well. But then ginger beer, there is such a diverse way that you can drink rum. Yes, I've been shouting for one single kind of mixer to come along and really dominate. But actually, I've kind of changed my tune a little bit there because I just love the diversity. There is a drink there for everyone. And this is what makes spiced rum great. So what is the future of spiced rum? Well, as we approach the tail end of 2019, as we go into 2020, it is just going to explode. Possibly, for me, for the signs I'm seeing, possibly even quicker than gin exploded probably back in 2015 2016 because it's already they've some of these people now have got this well rehearsed routine of launching products uh, they've had it with their gins and they're now or brands i should say they've had it with their gins now they know what works what they're doing now they've got so many diverse mixes we're just going to see this explode what else are we going to see we're going to see different uh, spice run brands pop up with different flavors with different spices i've seen one recently with using pear we're using apples so we've got things like that coming and we have by no means seen the last of the mixers that get us launched i'm betting i'm willing to bet that some of these tonic brands they are going to come in on the whole spiced rum thing as well because the whole rum and tonic thing isn't great uh, but the whole soda thing that these the sister sodas just work very very well so i can expect even more for me this was the biggie uh, this was kind of the turning point. Fentimans were really turning their attention to the rum category with this tropical soda. And I just think more and more brands are going to follow suit and going to create some dedicated flavoured up mixes to go with spiced rums. But at the moment, if you're interested in these spiced rums, most of my spiced rums come from uh, Master of Malt. They are my big online uh, wholesalers for that. 
Amazon do a hell of a lot of these now. Amazon have really come into their own. Uh, you've got the drinkshop.com. Uh, so that's why I love spiced rum so much. That's exactly what it is. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next video where we're going to be deep diving into this. This is World's End Tiki Spiced Rum. See you soon.